हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू साइबर सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू अनकवर द ऑटोमेशन टूल फॉर अ बग वेर मोस्ट ऑफ द बग बाउंटी एंडर्स डू नॉट टेस्ट फॉर दिस येस आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट वेब कैश पॉइजनिंग सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर एंड लर्न वॉट इज वेब कैश पॉइजनिंग एंड हाउ वी कैन ऑटोमेट इट विद अ टूल सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड So let's understand what do we mean by web cache poisoning. But before that, we have to understand the what do we mean by cache. Cache saves a copy of our responses to reduce a load on our backend system. When a cache receives an HTTP request, it looks for the web cache server. If the request is already there in the web cache server, it will directly fetch and give you the response. And if there is no and it is a fresh request to the server. first it will store that uh, in a web cache server so whenever in future uh, you came to th- for the same request it will be directly uh, save it from the memory and give it a proper response so let's just understand how a cache works over here so when you are sending a first request from the client side it is going to for the caching server and it will check that uh, whether this request response is there or not in our server or not so if there is a response of the server it will directly uh, send the response of it so if we do not have the response in the web cache server then the same request will pass through the origin server and from the origin server we will get a response as, as we know about it now that response will be saved in a caching server also and then it will be sent to your client side now whenever after let's say uh, after few hours or a few days you came back and say sending the same request now it won't go to the origin server you will interact only with the caching server only so whether you send a request to the server it will only navigate to caching server because they already have the response of it so they will share the response of it to the client side so this is how cache works now what do we mean by web cache poisoning so basically it is a technique where attacker tricks a web server into a storing harmful or incorrect information into the web cache memory how it is like that so in web cache poisoning the attacker tries to make the server store bad data so whenever some visits uh, whenever a user visits into that uh, request or any particular website they will serve with their bad data like say attacker hosted domains where he has uh, hosted some malicious contents over there so how web cache poisoning works so suppose an attacker is the first user who is trying to access the website of that request so as in the web caching server that response will be not stored so the original request will be sent to the origin server first and then origin server will pass through the web cache so it will store the response of it and then again the response will be sent to the attacker now what will happen the second time whenever a victim or any general user will try to access the same request now it won't go to the origin server it will directly get into the web cache server only where our malicious response is being stored so whatever the malicious response is stored in the web cache server it will be directly fed to the users so in this way house and attacker try to poison a web cache and what are the possible attacks can be happen The first one is content spoofing where an attacker can manipulate the cache content to display incorrect malicious information to a web website visitors and second one is session hijacking through that we can also capture the stored cookies of the victim and we can perform an account takeover vulnerabilities also and the third thing is cross site scripting web cache poisoning can inject some malicious script due to which uh, it has been cached into the caching server and when it is served to the multiple user it will give a prompt of cross site scripting and then further attacks will be happen so let's see the in a practical way how we can uh, perform a web cache poisoning and how we can automate it using a tool so let's just understand how we can exploit it web cache poisoning and we can escalate to cross site scripting vulnerability with the help of portswigger lab so first of all we are going to understand it manually and then we will look how we can automate this vulnerability so let's just uh, intercept the request 
so let me just refresh the browser so in the http history we can see our request are being captured so let me just send this request to repeater and we can analyze first so let me just send it first yes and you can see the request has been sent to the server but it is not sending to the origin server the reason why I how i had analyzed is because there is a response header that is x cache that is the value is hit now what do we mean by that whenever the hit will be uh, as a result so the caching server will give you a response not a origin server now let's take an example we are performing an x forwarded host evil.com and let me just send it you can see the value has been changed to miss it means that the request was new and it has it didn't find in the caching server so the request has been directly sent to the origin for server first and the origin server has given me this particular response and it is being stored now in the caching server now how i come to know so whenever we send the request again it the status will be hit over here but before that let me just see if the evil.com is being reflected in my response or not so let me just put evil.com over here and you can see the evil.com is being reflected in a javascript file that no issue so let's just understand the request first one once again and you can see it is still being missed let me just send again and you can see the status is being hit now what do we mean by that the request was same and it is being stored in the caching server already now the request has been sent to the caching server and the response has been passed not to the origin server but it is being sent directly from the caching server only so this is how it is being worked and we know that our evil.com is being reflected in the javascript so we can escalate to xss vulnerability also so this is how web cache positioning works now to exploit more further with the help of Forcefigure Lab, they had given us a particular exploit server over here. And you have to just enter the path over here. So let me just copy slash resource slash gs slash tracking dot gs, paste it, and let's just perform an across scripting by using a JavaScript prompt that is the alert document dot cookie and then close. Let's just store this. Once it has been successfully stored in our expert server, let me just copy this uh, server expert server URL. Copy that and instead of evil.com, let me just type the expert server URL and just send the request. First of all, as the request was new, it doesn't find in the caching server. So it's sent to the origin server first and the response will be now cached and stored in the caching server. So let me just send the request again. You can see the X cache response is hit and our expert server is being reflected over here where the URL has been changed and we had added into the expert server URL that is a resource slash gs slash tracking.js. Now, what will happen if I refresh the browser from the users? Let's suppose I'm the new user and I am just uh, refreshing it. So, so as you can see that the prompt has been came into the user side. So whenever a user tries to access this particular website, they will get a cross scripting prompt over here. So now we had understood how it is being worked and what do we mean by web cache positioning. Now let's just automate this task. So there is one tool that is a toxic cache. It is written in a Go language. So as I have already installed that, so let me just use it on our target that was a Dell. So that you just have to perform a toxic cache hyphen I and you have to provide a list of the subdomains over there so let me just show you like this and for the verification purpose i'm just going to add the same hosting domains of the ports lab so we can come to know if it is working or not so let me just save it and then enter it will take few time so let's just wait for that
and we can see that uh, it is being detected that there is a web cache poisoning in this port sugar.net and which header we have to use that is the x forwarded host we can use it to perform a web cache poisoning attack and we had seen in the manually also with the help of port sugar lab and in the bob suit we had entered x forwarded host only so this is how a toxic cache tool works and so how it is useful so we have a lot of uh, subdomains of our target you can automate it and detect it whether it is vulnerable for web cache positioning or not once we detected it we can try to exploit it for the further and i have explained you how we can exploit it further side also so i hope you understand what do we mean by web cache positioning and how we can exploit it manually and with the help of automation tool toxic cache we can easily detect larger number of domains easily if you have any kind of queries feel free to ask me in our telegram community channel tool and channel link will be given in description so you can access it please like and subscribe to our youtube channel for more amazing videos like this and i'll see you in next video till that time goodbye and jai hind